Hey everybody, Matt Wallace bringing you AI every day. So I have to tell you when I started this, I didn't expect it to be quite like shooting fish in a barrel the way that it is. But today I'm happy to say I have some really exciting news to talk about, and I'm going to try to break down for you the announcement OpenAI made where they have announced a plugin architecture for ChatGPT. This allows ChatGPT to directly interact with external services. So for anyone who's played with ChatGPT, you can literally ask it anything. You can ask it to um, give you Valentine's Day gift ideas. You can ask it to write you code to implement a binary tree rebalancing algorithm. Whatever you imagine, it can take a pretty good crack at it. The limitation that ChatGPT had is it lived in a world of its own. You interacted with it. It was based on the training of the model, and it couldn't do anything that touched outside of that model. Today's announcement means that ChatGPT will be able to reach out to external services and actually use the context of that information responding to the user. And I'm going to read to you directly from the OpenAI docs for this feature because it's super simple. Plugins can allow ChatGPT to do things like Retrieve real-time information like sports scores, stock prices, and the latest news. Retrieve knowledge base information like company documents or personal information. Or perform actions on behalf of a user like booking a flight or ordering food. What's amazing to me is I feel like I've literally done every single one of these things in the past week or two. I have long felt like certain types of things like wikis that form the knowledge base internal of a company, especially on the engineering side, tend to be really poorly curated, very difficult to extract the correct, most recent, most relevant information from, etc. And I feel like it's going to be really interesting to see how ChatGPT changes the game here. Suffice it to say, the delta between ChatGPT being a sort of font of knowledge that you can tap into and something that does things for you, the gap just disappeared, right? Yesterday, ChatGPT was something you asked questions to and got answers for. Tomorrow, ChatGPT is something you ask things to do, and it does them, empowered by external APIs. It's interesting, too, because I've been a, a fan of APIs for 10 years, uh, you know, all the way from like studying things like Twilio and how quickly time to first Hello World impact developers to kind of understanding things like API economics and monetization. And it's a really fascinating thing to think about how much of the current horsepower of all the services of the internet are powered by APIs. And the idea that you can plug something as powerful as ChatGPT now into all those APIs to get things done is mind blowing. They've also released a whole ton of great examples that kind of go from really gentle things like I want to have a to-do list all the way into they have implemented a full GitHub project for um, what they call, call semantic search as a plugin. And it's so complex, they don't even really delve into what it does in the example page. They say, go look at the GitHub code. Right about now, you should be seeing this pop up on your screen. I'm just going to show you kind of a view of the GitHub page. So it's incredibly well thought out. My hat is off to the OpenAI team because I really would have expected something more in the vein of a fine tuning architecture for chat GPT three, five and a four, because the fine tuning API at open API, which is available for some of the other models, isn't available for chat GPT three, five turbo and GPT four yet. And yet in the grand scheme of things, this is arguably much, much, much more significant. Although I think fine tuning is super relevant. I think that there are a bunch of startups out there that will use things like open AI APIs to implement various things like chatbots and so on. And I think they are eager to see a fine tuning API. On the other hand, the plugin architecture is literally much more powerful because instead of just taking the modality that ChatGPT has now, which is, I asked you a question to respond to me with the knowledge you have in the model. It's changing it to, I say something to you and with your deep semantic knowledge, you go out and do things on my behalf, completely changes the game. So what an amazing time to be doing a video series about AI evolutions. And I actually have a ton of other things I want to talk to you about. Definitely follow me, subscribe. We're going to talk a lot more about some of these things, but today this is a seminal moment, I think, for a lot of the evolution AI that's going on, really spurred by the quote unquote chat GPT moment 
uh, that happened last November, but what an incredible moment to witness the opening up of this ecosystem to all these third parties. And I am really looking forward to seeing what people build and pluck into this. Catch me tomorrow. We're going to have a lot more to talk about.